Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having an awesome day so far. Today's tutorial is inspired by graduation. Whether you're graduating from like middle school, high school, or college, this would be appropriate for any of them. This is a very natural look. It's very glowy and it also photographs really well. I know a lot of pictures are taken at graduation. This is something very similar to what I did for mine. I know that I kept it very neutral and natural and like very soft glam. So if you want to see how I got this look, then just keep watching. All right, graduates. So the first thing I'm doing is using a pore filling primer in my T-zone area and I'm rubbing that into the skin. And then I am taking a primer that is going to target any discoloration. So for me, I get red. So that means I'll use a green primer just to conceal that redness a little bit more. And now onto foundation. I'm using my favorite foundation right now, the Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Liquid Foundation. This is like a your skin but better foundation. So if you like liquidy foundations, I would definitely recommend checking this one out. So I thought I was going to use my Maybelline Fit Me, but I just got the Maybelline Dream Lumi Concealer and I wanted to try that out. So I'm just placing this in areas where I want to conceal a little bit more and also highlight my face. Just for a mini review, I really liked the coverage that this gave me as well as the highlighting effect. As you can see, I got this a couple shades lighter than my skin tone, but I really like the bright under eye. So for right now, I really like this, but I will keep you guys updated. One tip I have is if you're going to be in front of a large group of people, just go back and blend everything out one more time just in case. And now for my under eye and areas where I concealed and highlighted, I'm using a lighter colored pressed powder. I also wanted to test this concealer out as a primer, so I'm just doing that really quick and setting it with the same powder. As for the rest of my face, I'm using a powder that's a little bit closer in color tone to the rest of my body. This is also just going to give a greater contrast to the highlight, so it's going to push our face out even more and make it even more natural looking. To add some color back into my face, I'm just using any old bronzer. I'm not contouring my face, but I am putting the bronzer in areas where I would contour, so the perimeters of the face, kind of like on the cheekbones, that type of deal, but not actually contouring. For blush, I wanted to stick to something very buildable and very natural, so I just chose one with a peachy undertone. Now I am highlighting the areas of my face that I want to bring forward and that will catch the light. So that's like my cheekbones, on top of my brow, my nose, my cupid's bow, chin, stuff like that. This is Smoke and Whistles from ColourPop. And now moving on, I am spraying my face with Fix Plus. Any setting spray will do. This is just to make everything look natural. And as you can see, I'm blending in my highlight to make it look like it melts into my skin as well as the rest of my face. Now onto eyes, I'm using that same bronzer and I'm pretty much just buffing that into my crease because I am all about efficiency here. And I will also be taking this bronzer onto my lower lash line. To make my crease look a little bit deeper, I'm using Cocoa Bear from Makeup Geek. I'm just buffing that directly into my crease. I'm using a very light hand and a very little amount of product. And then I will also be pushing this into my lower lash line just to add a little bit more drama. For my lid color, I'm just using Smoke and Whistles from ColourPop. It's the same highlight that I have on the rest of my face. I think it just makes the look all tied together really nicely and it just makes everyone look at your eyes. So now for my inner corner highlight, I'm actually not sure what I used, but I'm just using any old white eyeshadow just to draw the attention in there. To open my eyes up and make them appear bigger, I'm just placing a nude eyeliner on my waterline. Now it's time to give my lashes a quick curl and then it's time for mascara on my top and bottom lashes.
Moving on to lips, I would suggest keeping it pretty natural, but that's just my personal preference. You guys do what you want. This is an ultra satin lip from ColourPop in the shade Echo Park. Alright everyone, this wraps up my tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If any of you are graduating, congratulations. I really hope you guys have the best future that you can. And don't fall on stage.